this right now. So we got, so uh, comes with a model has a 30 day warranty on it. And just a thank you for our purchase through uh, RC uh, Motion RC. It comes in a well packaged box, and you can see it's the 64 millimeter EDF jet Raptor. So we're going to go ahead and let's put this down from the other side. And let's take a look on the inside that we got. This jet, I'm gonna go ahead and put a uh, ZOHD Copilot Mini uh, or Light in this. So far, I've watched a couple of YouTube videos. I have not seen anybody add it to this. It could be because of the space. That um, and that's one of the things I want to make sure that I can add this. I don't know how the fuselage is, so I've got to find out if the fuselage is going to get me the space I need to add that in there. So this is the part that's kind of a little challenging to pick apart sometimes. So let's try to do it this way. is the actual packaging it got some really good foam to keep it firm um, this is PPO foam it's even got a little pilot in there let's see if I can put it in this here I'll pull it out let's go ahead and cut these foam things out here package it very well. Let's see if we can get the fuselage out. Uh, this is the fuselage, which you can see it's a pretty nice size fuselage. You can see the little pilot there in the front. And I was thinking of putting a FPV camera, probably one of those uh, Swift um, run cam in there uh, so I can get some FPV bottom of the of the fuselage this I believe in this compartment here um, has the ESC and also you'll find that I don't know if you can actually see here the EDF motor uh, it's a 12 blade uh, on this high performance one versus a five blade. And let's look at the compartment here. This model does come with the ESC, the EDF motor. Um, it's got it, the pre installed um, servos. You're going to have an uh, ailerons and an elevator. Doesn't have a rudder. It can be added, they're pre installed. You got one servo here, one servo here, and this is the front wheel. It is, it has a servo. This is the one you hold the uh, rudder, so, and this will control the turning of the wheel. These are pretty good rubber wheels. They're nice and large. So my idea of adding the uh, the ZOHD Copilot. I would probably would have to cut out a section over on this side. Let's put this down. Probably maybe in here. Maybe I'll cut out an opening. I can put it in there and then I'll run my servo wires to it. Because on the Z8HD, um, what needs to be done is you have to locate uh, on the aircraft an area where it's the uh, the CG is as close as possible to where you're going to mount the flight controller. I think that's probably a really good area. 
the support and I might have it where I can just pop in the foam. Um, I just got to set it up so when it's ready to stall, I can have it all set up because obviously it's got a little control board. The ZOHD does not need a computer plugged in to program the uh, controller. So um, it's a nice plane. Let's go ahead and look at the other things in there. We got your manual, which I've downloaded and kind of read on it um, online. Uh, here we have okay so we have our rear stabilizer um, as you notice um, okay sorry these are actually the wings <laughs> I was gonna say whoa they they threw in the uh, rudder but it's not these are actually the actual wings itself here's one And this one they didn't actually wrap in plastic they just put basically a foam piece in between them as you notice here so these have their pre-installed servos uh, i think these are metal gears these are probably plastic gears and it looks like they're very easy to get out and you got your hinges you got plastic hinges in here uh, really good supports and they have three of them in place here it's nice both on this and here's our stabilizer right here so anyways I'm gonna leave them in the bag for now because I'm gonna assemble it not tonight another day but these are our stabilizer these are the ones that you can actually probably you can score these and, and add some servos if you want to have a rudder on these and I've seen people do it give you a little bit more sharper, cleaner turns. Okay. Um, these are our elevators, which attach, they have an extension link that attaches to these for your elevators, which actually would go like this. This would give it the, the uplift vertical lift when these are, um, they show in the manual that these have to be between six to seven millimeters uh, in between the the frame or the fuselage area there's a measurement uh, for a lift so this way when it's running down a runway uh, it, it lifts up enough that it can take off without having too much of a long run to take off okay. uh, you can see this is the server wall uh, links right here comes with that these are the wheels. These are pretty big wheels that actually will roll. So, um, and they're, they're, they actually are nice rubber wheels. All right. That's about it. Well, YouTubers, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you on pause and I'm going to show you my flight controller. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. This is what's going in this F-22 Raptor 64 millimeter EF EDF motor. This flight controller here is, it keeps it stable, but you can also have return to home. This plane is fairly fast, and what happens in maybe when it goes into a vertical rise, um, and if you're gonna perform some acrobatics, you can with this plane, but you also, if you lose control of it, you can just hit the return to home and basically it'll stabilize itself. So you can use it. And I'll find out how well it is with using this particular flight controller. I have added it to my other planes and it works fantastic. So anyways, tune in, YouTubers, for the updated um, build of the um, F-22 Raptor, 64 millimeter, the 4S model with the ZHD uh, flight controller. Uh, it's gonna be very interesting to install. And then we'll do some mods uh, as we start experimenting with this aircraft. YouTubers have a great evening or day, wherever time of the day you are or part of the world. Just tune in, subscribe. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for the completion 
and the flight maiden on this particular aircraft. Take care. God bless.